Good morning students. Welcome to your data communication and computer network class for Fulsam IT. Today I will start a new unit that is data communication and data link control. In this unit I will discuss about different error control and flow control mechanism. After completion of this video, student will able to know about serial transmission and in serial transmission synchronous and asynchronous data transmission and parallel transmission. So let's start. First of all, data transmission concept. Data transmission refers to the movement of data in form of bits between two or more digital devices. As we know, transmission means movement of data between two or more digital devices in form of bits. And this transmission of data takes place via some transmission media, maybe it guided media or unguided media. Okay. And types of data transmission are uh, two types, parallel transmission and serial transmission. Again, serial transmission is two types, synchronous data transmission and asynchronous data transmission. In this video, we will discuss about serial, parallel, synchronous and asynchronous data transmission. So let's start. First is serial transmission. In Serial transmission, the bit of a byte are serially transmitted one after another. Okay. As the name suggested, serial means the bits of a byte are transmitted one after another. The chief register is used for serial transmission. The byte to be transmitted is the first stored in a SIF register means the byte which will move from the device sender device to receiver device the byte first stored in the SIF register then these bits are shifted from MSB to LSB most significant bit to least significant bit bit by bit in synchronization with the clock means bit moves by synchronization with the clock Bits are shifted right by one, one by one position per clock cycle. Okay, means bit shifted one by one by clock cycle. Okay, as an advantage, only one wire is used in serial transmission between transmitter and the receiver. Means there is a single wire and bit are moved serially one after another in serial transmission. So, it is the sender device, okay, then this is receiver device and this is the single wire, okay, and the bit go one by one, okay, one after another from sender to receiver in serial transmission. Next is advantage and disadvantage of serial data transmission. So, first is advantage. Only one wire is required. Reduction in cost due to less number of conductor wires. It is most used method for long distance data transfer. Okay, so here cost is low and because in uh, serial transmission, sender to receiver use, it use only a single wire. Then disadvantage of serial transmission. Since there is only one line of transmission, therefore the speed of data transmission is quite slow. Means this is the main disadvantage because there is only single channel. So the data transmission speed is very slow. If we have to increase the speed of data transfer, then it is necessary to increase the clock frequency. But there is a limit of clock frequency. Okay. So, the main disadvantage is transmission is quite slow. 
then types of serial transmission serial transmission has two category synchronous data transmission and asynchronous data transmission so let us discuss it one by one first is asynchronous data transmission it is called asynchronous because timing of the signal is not an issue the information can be sent and received as per mutual agreement of the sender and receiver means here timing is not a constant and the information from sender to receiver transmit as per their agreement and asynchronous transmission is at byte level only because transmission of bit is always synchronized asynchronous transmission is eased by two bits namely start bit as 0 and stop bit as 1 means in asynchronous data transmission it uses a start bit and a stop bit okay like start bit is 0 and stop bit is 1 we send 0 bit to start the communication and 1 bit to stop the transmission there can be a time delay between communication of two bytes only one byte is sent at a time after a gap of time next byte is transmitted means there is a gap between two byte the transmitter and receiver may function at different clock frequency as the name suggests that it is asynchronous so the transmitter and the receiver may function at different clock frequency asynchronous transmission is mostly used by asynchronous modem okay so this is asynchronous transmission there is a start bit and stop bit and gap between two byte or two data unit okay so it is asynchronous data transmission asynchronous data transmission always have a start bit and stop bit and there is always a gap between two data unit then advantage of asynchronous transmission it is flexible data transmission method synchronization between the transmitter and receiver is not necessary it is possible to transmit signal from the source having different bit rates okay the transmission can commence as soon as the data byte to be transmitted become available this mode of transmission is easy to implement it is an effective scheme it is a cheap scheme in terms of money okay means there is no need to synchronization between transmitter and receiver when the uh, data is available it will begin to transmit and it is very easy to implement cheap and effective scheme then disadvantages of asynchronous transmission additional bit or start and stop bit are required to be used means in asynchronous we used it used a start bit and a stop bit these are the additional bit the timing error may take place because it is difficult to determine synchronicity it has a slower transmission rate the next scheme is synchronous transmission synchronous as the name suggest it is a event which happen at the same clock rate synchronous transmission is carried out un- under the control of a common master clock means the transmission and the re- transmitting device and the receiver is dis- uh, receiving device is synchronized in a clock here the bits which are being transmitted are synchronized to the same reference clock the stream of bits is combined into bigger frame which may comprise more than one byte okay means 
in synchronous data transmission the bits are combined to form frame which may be more than one byte each byte is transmitted without gap between the next byte and in synchronous there is no start and stop bits are used instead the bytes are transmitted as a block of continuous stream of bits okay means like asynchronous synchronous has no start and stop bits the receiver operate at the same clock frequency as that the transmitter the data is sent in a block and we can call it as a frames or packet spaced by a fixed time interval and it is the duty of the receiver to separate the bits sent in group there is an interblock ideal time which also is filled with ideal character way to find the solution to the problem of error in transmission because of loss in synchronization is to include resynchronization of the clock and use of check digit to ensure the byte is correctly interpreted and received so in synchronous transmission there is no gap between two data unit and there is no start and stop bit the partition show between bytes are just the logical partition okay then advantage of synchronous transmission the main advantage is speed the speed of transmission is higher than asynchronous transmission this is due to the absence of gap between data unit and absence of start and stop bits timing error are also reduced due to synchronization then disadvantage of synchronous transmission the timing is very important the accuracy of the received data is dependent entirely on the ability of the receiver to count the received bit accurately the transmitter and receiver have to operate at the same clock frequency this require proper synchronization which makes the system complicated means they have to synchronize in same clock and it is a complicated system and this is the comparison of synchronous and asynchronous data transmission so basis for comparison first is clock calls in synchronous transmitter and receiver shares shares a common clock but in asynchronous a common clock, clock pulse is not shared by transmitter and receiver okay here in synchronous they are synchronized in a common clock pulse but it's asynchronous it is not necessary and not shared by um, the transmitter and receiver a common clock and the speed of transmission in synchronous is fast and in asynchronous it is slow form of data transmission here data is sent in form of frame or blocks in asynchronous data is transmitted in the form of byte or character time interval in synchronous is constant and in asynchronous is variable and cost is uh, cost of synchronous is expensive and asynchronous is less expensive as compared to synchronous and efficiency the synchronous is more efficient and asynchronous is less efficient need of external clock in synchronous exist and in asynchronous do not exist need of start and stop bit in synchronous not necessary but in asynchronous start and stop bit is required and synchronous is complex and asynchronous is less complex compared to synchronous so this is the comparison between asynchronous and synchronous data transmission 
so this is all about the serial transmission next is parallel transmission in parallel transmission all the bit of data are transmitted simultaneously on separate communication lines means all the bits are moved in separate lines in parallel line so it is named as parallel transmission in order to transmit n bit n wires or lines are used thus each bit has its own lines all n bit of one group are transmitted with each clock pulse from one device to another that is multiple bits are sent with each clock pulse parallel transmission is used for short distance communication so as shown in the figure in the next slide eight separate wire are used to transmit eight bit data from sender to receiver this is the figure here eight bits are transmitted in eight wire parallelly okay so this is parallel transmission then advantages and disadvantages of parallel transmission advantage is it is speedy way of transmitting data as multiple bit are transmitted simultaneously with a single clock pulse and disadvantage is it is a costly method of data transmission as it require n line to transmit n bit at the same time which is means uh, parallel transmission is expensive but advantage is it is very speedy then comparison between serial and parallel transmission so in parallel transmission this type of transmission permit the transmission of a n group of bit simultaneously means n group can be transmitted simultaneously and in serial in this transmission all the bits are transmitted one after another serially in parallel separate lines are used for transmitting each group and in serial just one line is used for transmission this transmission is suitable for short distance parallel transmission is used in short distance and serial transmission is used in long distance parallel is expensive and it is cheaper and parallel is not reliable but serial transmission is more reliable transmission circuitry is simple so transmission circuitry is complex due to sending and receiving device its main advantage is speed in parallel transmission the main advantage is speed because the bits are transmitted parallelly but in serial transmission it is slower in compared to parallel transmission okay so this is all about your serial and parallel transmission and in serial we have discussed about synchronous and asynchronous data transmission thank you